Hello. Today I wanted to show you guys a little bit about this video editing software. This is called Filmora, and I know that a lot of you guys are interested in video editing um, for vlogs or gaming videos or maybe ASMR videos or, um, you know, many different projects is something that's pretty useful for a lot of people. And I know that it can be difficult to find um, video editing software that really has everything you need. It isn't like super basic. So I wanted to show you a little bit about this. Um, so this is Filmora. Um, I just opened this up and at the beginning, before I even really get into this, I probably should have recorded this part for you, but um, when you first open up the program, it asks you um, if you want easy mode or full feature mode. This is full feature mode, uh, so we're really going to be diving into some of the more advanced things in here. Um, and it also asks you to preset your aspect ratio of your video. This is your preview window here. Um, so right now we're set to 16, 9, that's 16 wide, 9 high, um, and they have also 4, 3, which is more standard, more square, not widescreen, um, aspect ratio, and there's also, um, regular square, 1 to 1, um, for Instagram, and they also have 9, 16, which is widescreen, in portrait mode, um, so that actually would be really ideal for making videos like for the new IGTV or anything that's meant to be watched like on mobile um, without having to turn your phone sideways. Um, so here is just a few videos that I imported um, just using the import function here. And there are also some default things here, like I could just throw on this purple screen, and it's just a still, so this isn't motion or anything, but this would be good for like a background for a title, um, or whatever you like. Um, and then there's also some sample video here, so here's some countdown things, and these are good for like the beginning of videos, like you can almost hear like a little beep, 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 you know? Um, more countdowns. <laughs> These are all countdowns. So there's some stuff provided here for you. There's actually a lot of stuff provided here for you to work with, and it's really, really cool. But we're going to start with these videos, which I got off of Pixabay, which is a website that has a bunch of royalty-free um, images and videos. And I found this creator with these really amazing shots of food. Um, so we're going to play around with these a little bit and discover more about Filmora um, while looking at this really delicious food. So the first thing we're going to do is, um, I guess we'll add, actually, I think the first thing that I want to do is add a title. Um, so I want to do that with the text and credit. And here we have a bunch of, um, title opener things. So you can, like you see here, there's, there's a few that are, that you start off with. And if you want to download these, you just double click them and they'll download right to your computer. You can also right click and download all so that they're always there. Um, I've only downloaded a few though. So like for instance, here, see it's animated and you can change the text of course. Um, and it's really, really nice and professional looking. Um, so this would be really great for a vlog, like tutorial videos. Um, and things like that. Um, I happen to like these kind of titles that are 
that you can put the video behind them. They're transparent. So what we're going to do first is lay down the video. I think we'll start with, I really love this one. And look how pretty that is. I love this spot of light in the middle and how the food rotates into it. Um, I just think that's really, really beautiful. Uh, so we're gonna, just going to add this. You can click right here, add to project, or you can drag it down. And there's our little clip. We can drag this to sort of zoom in on the timeline and be able to be more precise. Um, I think that this is really cool too. This is a good way to grab thumbnail images. This right here. So this will be a snapshot. You can save the freeze frame to your computer. Okay, so anyways, we have our first bit of video down. So what we're going to do is go to the beginning and we're going to go back to text and credit here. And we are going to choose, I liked this one a lot. So we're just going to click add to project. I like that. So what we're going to do is double click. And we're going to call this, let's see, let's call it Drawworthy. And we're going to right align it, and I guess, see it's not bound into that box there. Oops, I don't want to do that. Um, we're going to keep it like this, maybe? Or maybe we want to have one per line. Draw where the eats. Oh, that's much better like that. So now we're going to move it where it needs to be. And I really like, well, you see that center guideline there? That's perfect. We'll put it, like, right there. And right here, I'm going to put the creator's name on Pixabay. I really like how this looks. So let's just play the intro. Is this right at the beginning? Okay. Perfect. I love how that looks. Although I don't really like how um, right here we lose a bit of this wording because it's too bright right here. So how are we going to um, fix this. Okay, so here we're gonna fix that, make it stand out more. Um, let's see, what do we like here? A little bit of a, um, drop shadow here might do the trick. Another thing I just noticed that I think is really great. So you can double click on like this text element or this text element and you can choose the way that you want it to animate. Um, I'm not sure what is selected currently, but oh, you can do a typewriter. Oh, and here we have previews. Wow. Okay. All right, this is really cool. Okay, um, I'm gonna leave it on whatever it's on currently. Okay, so here's our intro right now. 
that bit of drop shadow definitely fixed that problem. And I think what I want to do here is, so we're going to pause this, and I want to go here to the end of the title. And what I want to do is split right there. So all I had to do was click the scissors to split this into two clips. So we have this one now and this one. While we have the title text here, I don't want the background image to be like so crisp. I do want it to be um, a little blurred. Okay, so in our filters section, we have a bunch of filters here. And these, these ones are meant for the landscape videos, like 16.9 and 4.3. And then down here, we have a bunch that are meant for um, portrait videos that you have in a 16.9 or 4.3 format. So it would like blur the sides, you know what I mean? Um, so we're just gonna pop on one of these filters. Oh, see, and I didn't want to do that. I'm gonna, when I click add to project, it's gonna add it wherever my marker is. So I'm gonna click control Z and undo that. I'm gonna go right back to the beginning and then add it. So this filter darkens it a bit. And let's see what this looks like. It's a little dizzying, so I'm actually going to delete that. Um, and let's try, let's try, so back to the beginning, and we'll try, let's see. You see, this is really cool because we have a bunch of, see, these are filters we're familiar with, of Walden, this is on Instagram, Valencia, I believe, was also one on Instagram, Nashville. Um, Lomo, definitely. Um, so, but we're going to go up to Blur or Square Blur. Square Blur isn't going, oh, we have Blur, Blur 2. Let's see what they look like. This is just a regular Blur. Blur 2 is quite a bit softer. Um, regular blur is, wow, that's a lot of motion. <laughs> um, raindrop, what's this? Okay, so we have some raindrops on the screen. Um, we're just gonna go to square blur, which is right here. We're gonna add it, and there we go. I really like how this looks. So for the sake of visual variety, what we're going to do here is leave the tulips, the bl bl blurred tulips, um, in the background of the title. Um, and then what we're going to do is skip ahead a little bit to right here we have the food entering. So this is where we're going to cut this. So we'll cut it just by doing that. And then we're going to delete this clip entirely. And we're going to have a skip right to the food. So it's going to go like that. And we need to put in a transition here. So we are in transitions right here. And we got to pick a good transition. Um, so we can preview them here. That's an okay one. Um, let's try. That's this one. Oh, I'm not a fan of that. Too much motion. Um, yeah. Fish eye roll. Oh, that's a really, that's like a good transition, but not quite for this. Really cool, though. Simple roll, okay, um, let's try, oh, look, you can even do like a heart, oh, that's nice, polka dots, evaporate, 
that's really cool. Evaporate one, evaporate two. Um, but I think we're gonna go with, ooh, what's this wind? <laughs> um, we're gonna go with something pretty basic. Let's try just a dissolve. Let's just add a dissolve right here. Okay, let's see how this looks. Okay, I'm not sure I like that. That might be good for the ones down the road, but I think um, doing the flash one might actually be better. All right, so here we have our flash one. I like how when you put the, the transition on, it correlates with the icon, so you can see exactly what transitions you have, um, and it doesn't just say, you know, you have a transition here. You know exactly what this is, so I think that's really, really helpful. Okay, let's go with that. We're going to stop that about here. So we'll cut that here, delete that bit. So now we're going to add in our other clip. We have these honey glazed ribs here. So let's add those. Again, I want to start in on the food itself so right when that's entering the frame sort of like maybe here and we'll cut it and then delete this section and now we need a transition between this one and this one so we're gonna go back to transitions and let's add a dissolve right there and play it Okay, I really liked that. And let's add the final clip. This looks so good. And we'll just make it about that long. Cut it and delete the end. We're going to put another dissolve right here between these two clips. Let's add something fun not game of thrones we need something vibrant of course we could always just bump up our saturation here bump up our contrast a little bit and our brightness and maybe tint it you know, slightly warmer we have also have an auto enhance here that I think makes it a little too sharp, so we're not going to use that. Um, so let's play it. I think we're going to take the contrast down a little bit actually. And oh, that looks okay to me. So even our fajitas look a little dull compared to the ribs and the pork stir fry. So a very colorful dish like fajitas obviously needs that color representation. So we're just going to tweak these a little bit brightness up just a little. Here we go. See, I think the audio enhance is not a friend of this right now because we need the softness at the end here. This is where this um, default stuff is going to come in handy. We are going to add in just a black slate at the end. And on the black slate, what we're going to do is, well first we're going to add a transition here, we'll add our dissolve, play that, so that fades out to black. On our black 
next light at the end, we're going to add some credits. Let me go back to text and credits. And go down to the end here where we have credits. So we can have rolling credits here. We can have that kind. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I think we're just going to go with something simple and add that. We're going to move this to probably about here. And we are just going to type in video footage by find our center mark there perfect so hit ok and let's see what that looks like ok so that pops in a little too soon I'm going to move it forward Let's add in some lower thirds. Lower thirds are little titles that go in the lower third of the video screen. Um, so what we're going to do is, I'm going to play this. I want to add a lower third about right here. And I'm going to go with this one. This matches our intro title slate thing. So we're going to add that. Let's double click on this, and this is going to be called uh, Pork Stir Fry. And press OK, and switch over here. When our footage switches to this, we want lower thirds about right here, and this will be called honey glazed glazed ribs okay and then I'm gonna say this is probably about right here we'll also add in our steak fajitas okay and let's go ahead and watch the whole thing again Okay, so um, our honey glazed ribs text goes into our steak fajitas, and we don't want that. So let's, we just dragged it. If you highlight your text here, and this pulls up, the cursor changes, and you can just drag it. So let's make sure that this looks okay. I still don't want it that far into it. Try it again. That's a little better. Let's just move it back a little and see how that works. All right, awesome. I'm really, really happy with this so far. Um, also, I wanted to show you guys that there are all these cool overlays. So you could throw on, for example, like this, there's like an aqua <laughs> film here. Uh, this is not the best. You could make like cinema bars, which is pretty cool. Um, and there's all this stuff you can download too lens flares and whatnot like let's let's download one of these 
Oh, wait. Okay, so I downloaded this one before. And this shows this is a light link. So it's pretty cool. Or there's this one. Some fun color effects. So we've got like dirty film, uh, green, um, water damaged film, static, VHS rewind, VHS distortion, VHS distortion bad, <laughs> um, 90s viewfinder, pro viewfinder, simple viewfinder, and a bunch of light leaks here, lens flares. Um, this is a lot of, like, really good stuff here that you can use for making some really cool videos. Um, another thing that they offer is music. So there's a bunch of royalty-free music here, and of course there's more in their store, um, and you can obviously import your own music as well. Um, I am not going to add music to this because of the nature of my video, <laughs> because this is ASMR, but um, the music, I've checked some of it out, it's really, really just light, um, there's no words, I don't believe in any, th any of them that I checked, um, really good just background music kind of thing, and here you can sort by um, what kind of music, or like the tone, tender and sentimental, young and bright, um, so that's really, really cool too. I really do believe this software is like easy to use, it's easy to understand. Um, I'm really, really impressed with the video effects, options, the colors. Um, I'm just really super impressed with this. Um, I love the lower thirds animations. I love the title animations. I just love the stuff that it comes with stock. Like it, it's not even like, a, you know, something where you must buy stuff from their store in order for it to look good. So this is Filmora. You guys watched me do this. I have never, ever edited a video with Filmora before. Like, I just threw this together. Um, the most that I have done before this was I just, like, opened the program and, like, looked around a little bit. But this was my very first time doing any of this. So you see how easy this is. Like, I'm not an expert at this program by any means so if I can do it you can do it and I definitely think this is way worth um, what they ask for definitely like the everything that it comes with is just it's it's impressive and I am glad that I got to make this video um, so check out my description I guess for any other valid information um, that I am forgetting right now. Um, but that's all, I guess. I hope you guys have a great day. Um, and check out this software, definitely, if you are into making videos. Um, and that's all. Thank you, guys. Bye.